Now we're at the Steve Harvey Show. Uh, Kevin Hart was just on. There we are. That's his. Look at there. Look at me. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. So pretty soon I gotta take this little mic off, and then they're gonna put a mic on me, get some makeup, go out there, rock and roll. It's gonna be good. Do you think they'll let you out there with the camera? I think you just hide it. It's a small camera. Yeah. Right. Or I should walk out with it. Ooh. <laughs> Could be like the fuck is he doing? It's more of a fight and less of a game. You think you're the sea, but you're the lake. Welcome to me. Tried it on everybody, but she won't sleep in the day. Live in the night. Take out the clock, oh, and you caught my light. Lost her. It's good you're better for me. together for five years and we're currently renting an apartment. We've been wanting to take our relationship to the next level and buy a house or a condo. So I would love to know, is it better to buy sooner than later? And is there any special season when it comes to buying houses? So wait a minute. You want to buy a house with your boyfriend? Get in her business, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the best idea, but I don't know your relationship, right? <laughs> especially through social media, especially through different forms of media, is building that relationship passively, right? This you and I talking right now is an active communication, building a relationship. But I can hit so many more people through social, through YouTube, through LinkedIn articles. So that's why there's such a push, especially you know, on my point of view, and I think for a lot of people to put out as much content as you can, because you're building passive relationships. And people talk about passive income all the time. For salespeople and for a lot of people in our generation, kind of the you know the gig generation, we have passive relationships are passive income because those will turn into other sources of work for us down the line and we just don't even know what they are. Mm -hmm. Like that future is so incredible. So we have to put ourselves out there as much as possible across all platforms and then just kind of like wait for it to boil. And I know Sarah and Josh are in your Brooklyn office, yes. correct? Yeah. Now, what do you guys think as a team, what does the American dream, I guess, mean to you in your office? I mean, the American dream for us is, is freedom of choice. Right? It's, it's freedom of choice to be able to own a home if you want, or rent a home if you want, or to be able to have this job or that job or this opportunity or that opportunity without repercussion other than your own expectations and your own stress that you put on yourself. Right. Right? Like that's what the United States stands for. Right? The United States was founded by people who had get up and go blood. Like they were people who said, I'm not okay with the way things are done. I'm actually gonna leave, I'm gonna get up, but I'm gonna go do something else my own way. I'm gonna fight for the right to have that get up and go atmosphere. You know, and that's really what I love about the American dream. Feed it, you gotta feed it in your mind, you gotta feed it, you gotta feed it in your soul, you gotta feed it. And I just became a volume broker. Like I wanted to do as many deals as possible to up my ROI. And I didn't care about the big sexy homes, the big sexy apartments. I could literally care less. It's like those brokers, they should go do that. Yeah, and we still still are today. It's all in the air, all over your flesh, right in your heart.
I've always told people brokerage is a great place to make income. Mm -hmm. Ownership is a great place to make wealth. Follow somebody, shadow somebody who is an owner. Follow somebody who is a landlord. Follow somebody who flips properties and watch what their day is like. Watch what their business is like. What are their phone calls like? Who do they talk to? How do they convince banks to give them certain LTVs? Like you have to be really educated before you start getting into the real estate business because real estate is a great place to make money, both short-term and long-term, but it's also a great place to ruin your life yeah. if you're not smart. <laughs>